Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. What is this? Can't see. Who's that? Yeah, I guess. Oh, don't we have to eat? Is that what we're gonna do? Let's see, this is the door to the baths, right? Estelle, this is the men's bath. We have to go to the women's baths. Oh, okay, they're separated. <laughs> How silly of me. I need to change my clothes. <laughs> I believe this is goodbye for now. <laughs> Jeez. That feels so good. Way better than I ever thought it would. I'm not like Dorothy, but I could seriously... I could see ser getting seriously addicted to this. I already am. They actually changed the portraits, I just noticed. Hmm. When I was little, Grandpa used to always bring me here. Ah, okay. Hey, where does that door go? Oh, that leads to the open air bath I was talking about. It's huge. I bet it could fit ten people at once. Wow, cool. I feel like I could dissolve in this. All this traveling has worn me out. Have you been doing all your traveling on foot? Why not take an airship? Um, for training, I guess? My dad always said it was super important. You mean Mr. Cassius? Yeah, Shara was another student of my dad's. He told her all the time that she should travel by foot. You should see the places you should protect with your own eyes, and some such. Whoa, cool. What about Josh? I guess Josh was just like sitting in there by himself. Probably weird as hell. <sighs> One second. Yeah, he was big on impressive speeches, but he knew how to back them up when he had to. I wonder where he is now. Estelle. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get you all gloomy. I'm in training too, and it's not like worrying will do me any good. I guess all I can do is have faith in him. Faith. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, I'm okay. Oh, yeah. I had something I wanted to ask you. Something? Okay, Dish, you can ask me anything. Um, well, are you and Joshua married? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, sorry, must have spaced out. What about me and Joshua? I was wondering if you and Joshua were married. Oh no. But you have the same last name. You don't look like each other at all, so I didn't think you were siblings. We don't look alike because we're not blood-related. Our name's the same because Joshua was adopted. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had it all wrong. Boy, did you ever. Sometimes, besides, he and I are only 16. Marriage is a subject for way off in the future. Right. I guess you wouldn't get married so young no matter how much you love each other, right? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that Joshua and I are not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're just family. Really? What do you mean, really? Uh, sweetie. Ugh. Do you get that kind of vibe from watching us or something? What kind of vibe? Uh, like we're together? As in together, together? Like, lovey-dovey, hot, can't keep our hands off each other together? Oh, well, no. But you're always with each other, and you're comfortable with each other, and you always finish each other's sentences. Well, I can't argue with that. But don't you think that could easily be how fr family and close friends act? And anyway, even if we did feel like that towards each other... I didn't need a mon- I didn't need a flashback right now. 
<laughs> Estelle, your face is all red. It's nothing. No reason at all. I mean, it's because the hot water's so effective. Yeah. It gets. It just gets the blood going. And staying in too long can make you dizzy. Uh, okay. Wasn't there an open air bath here? I suddenly want to try it out. Let's go. Right. By the way, Estelle, the open bath is unisex. Ah, this feels great. I love that the bath is open to the outside. And it's big enough to stretch out and really relax and you do know you're meant not meant to go swimming though. You see me doing the butterfly stroke, buddy? Uh <laughs> Boy, where'd all that steam go? It just disappeared. What the hell? Hey still. I got in a little while before you. Alright, the I'm so oh. I mean, I tend to think the portraits are pretty good, but that is some of the most awkward looking chest definition I've ever seen. It's like he's got half a vein, half a, uh, uh, you know, going up, up his, oh boy, that's interesting. It's kind of awkward to be around you like this. But hey, the hot spring works even better than I'd expected. It's good for injuries, and it really helps work out any muscle stiffness. Just the right idea for a bracer, really. Uh, I... You staying silent like this is making this a bit awkward, you know. Uh, I, um... Oh. That streak startled me so bad. Shriek startled me, startled me so badly that I almost flew through the ceiling. I almost suffer a heart attack, and all for what? A false alarm. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, the open air bath is unisex. Is there not a sign clearly saying that in the dressing room? Um, I think what she's trying to say is that she didn't notice it. First of all, getting caught, getting caught starkers once or twice isn't a big deal that you need to get. You need to go screaming your lungs out. And I've heard it said that a woman's skin gets prettier when you show it off. R really? <laughs> Bunch of crap. I wasn't off to show off. I wasn't out to show off anything for anyone. Well, whatever. Why not make up and just try to enjoy the baths? This place was intended for family members to be able to bathe together from the get-go. Now I'm off. And suddenly, I'm exhausted. Joshua, this is all your fault. How do you figure that? I mean, it wasn't me who shrieked like a banshee. Nor did I flake out and completely miss the sign in the dressing room. Y you shut up! You think you're so cute? Well, you're not. Oh, is that how it is? Well, fine. It's not as if it means anything to me whether or not you think I'm cute. But what did you say? I'm making a point. Looking at me and screaming the way you did, I would have never even dreamed that you'd react like that. Uh, well, I wasn't... It was bad timing, okay? I didn't mean that I'm disgusted at the thought of being in there with you or anything, but... No, no, I wouldn't want you to put yourself out. I'll just be on my way so you two can be alone. Put myself out? I can't believe you sometimes. You're a jerk. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, don't you dare laugh, Tita. I still don't get why I'm the jerk, but okay, wait, whatever. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. It's okay. I'm sorry for laughing. It, I just... Well, I'm a little envious. Envious of what? Why? I don't have any siblings. So I don't have anyone to fight with or make up with. Grandpa's always so nice and never mean to me. Mostly because my mom and dad couldn't be there. Huh? You don't mean to say that they're... They've been out of the country working as orbital engineers for a long time. I guess there's somewhere that orbital energy hasn't really hit yet. 
I'm not even sure how many years it's been since they last came to Zeiss. I had no idea. You must have been lonely. Not really. I have my grandpa, at least. And everyone at the Central Factory is always super nice to me. But I still get a little jealous when I look at you two. I'm probably just wishing for something that I'll never have. You said that really casually. I have an idea. Huh? From now on, I'll be your big sister. And Joshua can be your big brother. What? Always with the grand, sweeping gestures. Oh, come on. Are you seriously complaining? No. I feel the same way you do. I have no objections, as long as Tita's okay with the idea. Th thank you, both of you. I don't know what to say. I can't stop smiling. Well, that settles it, then. Treat us like you would a normal brother and sister. <laughs> I give you permission to make fun of Joshua as much as you'd like. That's right. Estelle is fair game to make fun of, too, in that case. You could talk to us just like when you talk to the professor. Like family. But, but is that... Is that really okay? I'll try, I promise, okay? Okay. So this is the new beginning for all of us. Until Tita inevitably leaves the party. Yeah. How many? That's a lot of milk. Man, they're so late. Ugh, I drank too much fruity milk, now my stomach's all messed up. This is 12 minutes. My goodness. Okay, Mrs. Mao. We really appreciate everything. I'm just glad you were able to relax a little. And Tita, you certainly seem to have enjoyed yourself. <laughs> is it that obvious? You all seem a little closer than you were yesterday. Must be the magic of the springs. By the way, what happened to the girl with the glasses? Hmm, I think she's still in bed. We called for her, but she didn't answer, and we didn't want to barge in. When Bo Dorothy does wake up, please give her our regards. Certainly. Tina, I'd like for you to tell Russell for me something when you see him next. Tell him that I said he needs to focus on the rest of his life beyond all the 24-7 research. Okay, I will. Take care of yourself, Miss Mao. And you need to come visit, too. Sure thing, hon. You're all welcome back at any time. The baths are always waiting. You can count on it. Absolutely. Food was great, too. Ah, I feel rejuvenated. And we never would have come on all if the pump hadn't needed, re needed repairing. So I guess we owe our thanks to you, Tita. But I didn't do anything. I should be thanking you for everything yesterday. It was really fun. Glad to hear it. I guess that means we're even. Yep, I guess it does. Shall we return to Zeiss, then? The professor might be done with taking apart the Black Orphan by now. Oh, yeah, we still have that to deal with. I'd completely forgotten. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Estelle. Wait! Oh my god. Hi, Dorothy. Finally decided to rejoin the world of the living? No fair, you guys. How come I get left behind? Huh? Didn't you say that you were sticking around to get some more shots for a story? Oh, did I? Whatever, I just hate being left out. Don't you, don't you Lil T? Uh, are you talking to me? Where'd that come from? I just wanted to give you a nickname. You don't like it? N no, it's alright. Awesome, thanks, little T. You really are lost in your own little world. Oh well, you can come back with us to Zeiss if you want. Now you're talking. Okay then, want to give this whole leaving thing another shot. Oh, Joshua, you're extra snarky today. So we do have Dorothy with us. Yay. I guess at least she's useful. We all have 200. Interesting. I was just wondering if I could ask. Huh? Whoa, he's huge. It's a bear. 
Bear? Uh, okay. You don't need to worry about me. All I want are some directions. You wouldn't happen to know where Elmo's Hot Springs are, would you? Oh, well, we just came from there, actually. It's just down the road south from here. Ah, I see. Thanks for the information. Oh, you. Huh? Could it be? Is it possible? Is what possible now? Oh, sorry. It's nothing important. Take care. Oh wow, a man of few words. His clothes looked eastern, so I, th I figured he must be foreign. Well, Zeiss is right on the border of the Kalvark Republic. He might come from there. I bet you're right. Mrs. Ma told me about people who live way off in the east. Oh right, I think Kiliko's from the east too. And he was so huge. I was super surprised. I guess he does kind of look like a bear. But he doesn't act like a bear at any bear I've seen. He looks like he studies martial arts. How can you tell? Well, I'm a martial artist too. He wasn't just big, he looked like he trained his body like crazy. Indeed, his legs were like tree trunks. He might be a master, just like Estelle's read about. Does that mean he is? He is a master? Okay. I wonder if he, he probably came from the wolf fort. Alright, that would make sense. There's so many sheep. Huh? What's the matter? Maybe I'm just losing it, but I thought I heard something. You're not losing it, at least not because of that. I heard something too. But far off. From the direction of the factory. What? Oh no, what do you mean? I don't know, we'll just have to go and see. Oh boy, okay. Um, something's definitely wrong, so let's make sure everything's in order. Should I go and buy Tita a new gun? Should I do that? That's not, I need a gun store. There we go. What does the journal say? Hmm. Okay. Now that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.